comfortable was on, off, on, off. So today we're gonna go back to our regular format. We have our set. We're doing 40 seconds on um, with a rest in between two sets. Uh, so go ahead and pop on your bands. I'm gonna start the Instagram. Can you guys hear me? Hold on one second. I'm getting a yes. funky connection. Okay. Yes, we can hear you. You can hear me? All right. All right. Can you hear me now? You still hear me? Yes. Okay. Cool. All right. I was getting a weird connection there for a second. Let me pop this other guy in and see if I can get this to work. Mm -hmm. We all good? Yes. Awesome. Okay. We'll come on up to stand. These are not working, so we're going to try them now. Laura, if you're talking, we can't hear you. Um, oh, there we go. Now we hear you. You hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm just twisting, not talking. Yeah. And then keeping the hands behind the head, start to rock side to side, opening up the sides of the body. And, and then hands stay behind the head, start to hinge forward, flat spine. Keep pressing your elbows back the whole time you do this. So keep the spine straight, hinge forward, come back up. Good. So we're opening up the upper body as well as the legs all in one. And we'll take four more. Last two. And our final one. Now go ahead and rise on up to stand. Work the shoulders around. We're gonna start with our forearm work today with the fingertip walkout. Uh, if this is too much on your wrist, you can always do our traditional wrist curls. Otherwise, start to make your way down onto your workspace. We're gonna be on our knees because there's no need to be in plank for this. We're gonna come up onto our fingertips. You're gonna walk out as far as you can, keeping your hips stacked over your knees so we're not shifting forward, and you're gonna walk back in. Walk out as far as you can, and walk back in towards the body, okay? So we've got our first 40 seconds. We're gonna start in three, two, and one. Go ahead and walk it out. And you can go really low as long as you can get your fingers. Back towards the body, walk it back in. It's really working into the forearms. Walk it out. Good. And bring it back. Cool. Keep going. I'll see who we've got today. Great. Nice. I'm going to pop these ear pods and see if I can get them to work. Last 10 seconds. All right, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and give the wrist a twirl, release them. Move them around the other way. And for our second set, you can allow your hips to travel. So I'm on my fingertips. You can walk out as far as possible, drop your hips down, and then walk it back up and in. It's a lot more work. So if you feel ready, go for it. Otherwise, same variation as before. And we're gonna start in five, four, three, and two. So walking it out as far as we can and walking back in, staying on the tips of the fingers. And it's hard. Good. Nice, keep going.
cool. These are so bizarre and you guys look great. Mm -hmm. Last 10. And we have five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and give the wrist a twirl, release it, and make your way up to stand. All right, we're going with some classics for our next two exercises tricep extension and bicep curl. So giving the wrist a bit of a break because we just put a lot of weight onto them. For our tricep extensions, I want to see a little bend in the knees. And the rule of thumb here is your back has to stay flat, no rounding out. So pulling your shoulders down the back of your body. I'm gonna pull my elbows in, start to extend back, pull it in, extend back, and pull it in. So we've got 40 seconds. Go ahead and set yourself up. You can take a big old bend. We're going in three, two, and one. Try some extension out and in. And for this first set, let's go nice and slow. So we go out, two, in, two, out, two, in, two. Yes, really extending through the arms to work into those muscles. Good. And especially because we're hinging at the hips and we're leaning into our chest, make sure that your core is engaged to support your spine. Mm -hmm. Good, you can take a little bigger bend if you wanna work into the legs as well. Good, let's see if we can do one more. We have five. Four, three, two, and one. Come on up, roll it out. All right, second set. Let's rebend into the knees. This one we're gonna work fast. We're going in four, three, two, and one. Extend out, 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 out. Push, yes, that's it. Good, so we're gonna do this set. And at the end of this one, we're gonna take a little pulse to really fire up those muscles and burn them out. Yeah, pushing something back and away from us. Press, press, yes, that's it. Great, half done. Keep pulling those shoulders down. Mm -hmm. We have 10 more seconds, then we're gonna extend the arms fully and work into it in six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Little pulse with the top. Straight arm. Shoulders come down. We have ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, tricep stretch. Right hand between the shoulder blades. Take the left hand up. Switch sides. And let's work into our bicep curls. So now you're familiar with your setting. Option to take it up a level if you're feeling good, leave it where it is. But knowing that we can always play with our settings and change as we do the work, we're never fixed, we're never stuck. So adjust your setting to whatever feels right at this point in time. Pull the elbows in. Our first set of bicep curls are gonna be slow. The second set is fast. So for these ones, we're imagining that we're picking up big, big heavy weights. So pick up your imaginary weight. Good. First 40 seconds in four, three, two, and one. Curl it up slow and release. Really slow, activating every muscle fiber of your bicep and down. Yes. And I like to really squeeze my fists as I do this. So all the muscles in my arms are working, making sure that my elbows aren't splaying out to the side. Mm hmm Good. Making sure we're growing tall the whole time we do this. We don't want to get slouchy. Cool. Good. Squeeze everything in. Yes, let's do two more for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Set down down those imaginary heavy weights. Pick up a set of imaginary light weights. This next set, we're gonna go fast. And I got my bands pumping, my, my veins are showing, my arms are tired, and that's exactly what we want. So grab those imaginary light weights. We're going in three, two, and one. 40 seconds, up, up, up. Squeeze, squeeze, yes. And we're not going just for speed. We wanna be working our muscles so you can flop your arms around or you can really pump it in, in. That's it, good. 
and up, up, half done. Yes, feeling those bands, those cycles working. All right, we're going all out, last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, bicep stretch, clasp the hands, open everything up. Okay. For our next exercises, we're going to work our way down onto our stomachs. First, we're going to be on our hands, then we're going to be on our forearms, then we're going to be on our belly. So this next exercise is a bear arm march. So bear position. Go ahead and make your way down onto your hands and knees. We'll start together here. So in a bear position, I tuck my toes and I lift my knees one inch off the floor. Now, from here, I start to extend alternating arms forward. So I'm marching with my arms. And we wanna do our best to keep our back flat. We're not pitching up. We wanna keep those knees hovered off the floor. If you need to set them down, that's fine too, okay? So we're gonna start in four, three, two, and one. Bear march, extend and reach. Reach and keep going. Pace does not matter here. Doing our best to keep ourselves in that bear position. Nice. Good. We're over half done. We've got it. And out. Good. Drop those knees a little bit lower. Reach. And reach. Yes. I love it. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Drop your knees. Walk your arms forward. Shoulder stretch, keeping the elbows covered off the floor. Take two big breaths. And start to walk your hands back towards the body for our second set. There's really no modification here. Just keep doing exactly what you're doing. If you feel comfortable, you can work at a little faster pace. All right, we're coming up in four, three, two, and one. Second round, bare arm march. And we wanna do our best to keep our hips stable the whole time we're doing this. So we're not rocking side to side. Yeah, good, controlling our bodies, getting those arms all the way up alongside the ears so we can open up our shoulders while we're building strength. Yeah, feel that burn. <laughs> yeah, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, give me four more, 5, 4, 3, Two and one. Go ahead and set the knees down. Ooh, walk the arms out, shoulder stretch, release it. Big breath. And then start to shift your weight forward, make your way down onto your forearms. So first thing we're gonna do here is just get a stretch of our spine. Forearms root into the floor. Imagine you're pulling your chest through your arms, lengthening through the spine. Option to hover the elbows off the floor here, going a little bit deeper as you engage through your glutes to protect the low back. All right. This next move is called spider plank leg lift. What the heck is that, Laurel? I'll show you. So I'm in a forearm plank position. I bring my left knee up and lift. Right knee to right elbow and lift. So I'm working knee up and side and lift. So that's the work. You can always also do this on your knees. So go ahead and make your way into forearm plank. Time is rolling in four, three, two, and one. Let's go for it. Good. Knee to same side elbow, lift. Lift side and lift. And I wanna do my best to keep my hips in line with my shoulders the whole time I'm doing this. So I'm not hiking my butt up into the air. Yes. Good, I'm pulling my heels back and I'm imagining that I'm sliding my arms forward to create traction. Keep going. Let's see how we're doing. Nice job, Instagram. Great job, Zoom. Yes. Good, last 10. Keep it up. We have six, five, two more, four, three, two, 
and rest. Everybody drop your knees and shift your butt back to your heels. Quick child pose to give the arms a break. All right. Second set. Start to shift your weight forward. Come back into forearm plank or modified forearm plank. We're going in three, two, and one. Knee to elbow and lift. Other side and up. Now the legs, yes, we're getting a nice leg workout here. We're getting a nice ab workout. But really the work here is keeping your core and your arms stable and strong enough that your upper body does not shift and move. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Half done. Ooh, there we go. Keep going. You can do it. Last 10. Let's see. Two more. We have six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Make your way all the way down onto your belly. We're gonna take a quick, funky shoulder stretch. I'm gonna rotate around so you can see me. I'm going to take my left arm in front of my right arm, and I'm gonna walk the fingertips out in opposite directions, resting my weight on my arm. I don't know if you guys can see me, but you've got the idea. Yeah, there we go. Good, try and root all 10 fingers into the floor. And then walk the hands back through center. Take right arm in front of left arm. Walk the arms out, the fingers out towards the sides. All right, resting the weight on the arms. Go ahead and untangle yourself. And now we've made our way all the way onto our bellies for our last exercise of the day. I call this T to I. So I'm on my stomach, I extend my arms out like a T. I lift my chest off the mat. I reach forward out to T. Forward out to T. If you want more of a challenge, you can hover your legs as well. Up, side, up, side. Okay? Try and get your chest a little bit higher off the floor than your arms. Okay? We're going to go ahead in three, two, and one. Lift everything up. I go I. T, I, T, keep going. So we're really working our shoulder mobility here, as well as the muscles of our back and our shoulders to keep good posture. Good, working from T to I, doing our best not to let our chest touch the floor the whole time we do this, it's really hard. Good job. Awesome. There we go. Last 10. I know this is one of the hardest things we're doing. Good. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. You can make a little cheek pillow with your hands. Oh, got a piece of glitter in my arm. Take a quick rest. And then this time we're going to go from I to T. So extend your arms up. Hover the arms and the legs off the floor. We're going in four, three, Two and go. Arms out like a T, arms straight up. T and I in that hovered prone position. Awesome. Nice. Kayleen. Good. Keeping the core engaged to protect our back. And breathing. Ideally breathing. Good. Half done. After this, we're gonna get our heart rate up. Then we're gonna swap out to some leg bands. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody come on up to stand. Grab some water if you want. Our three heart rate boosting moves, our cardio portion today are as follows. It's a oblique crunch hop. So I go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay? So we have 30 seconds of that. 
After that, we're doing toe touch, ankle tap. So I go knee touch, ankle tap. So I go tap, 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 tap. Even better, tap, 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 tap. A lot of tapping, you got the idea. Last up, we have overhead jacks. I grab my hands up, up, overhead, keeping my arms nice and straight, okay? So first up, oblique crunch hops. We got 30 seconds. We're going in three, two, and one. We go up, up, jump, jump, up, up, jump, jump. There we go. Nice. Good. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Knee tap, ankle tap. I go tap, 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 tap. We're rolling. A little bit of coordination going here. Opposite knee, opposite ankle. After this, we have overhead jacks. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Jump wide, overhead jacks. Here we go. Last little bit of work with our armbands on. Woo, get those arms up. I'm breathing. <laughs> now we go, last 10, all out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Grab some water, swap your bands out. And we'll have our question of the day, which is, if you could go back in history and meet anyone, who would you meet? We've asked before which time period you would travel to but today the question of the day is, which person would you meet? And it can be anyone. All right, let's swap out our bands to our legs. Instagram, take a break, a pause. We're swapping from arms to legs, and we'll keep going. George, that was fast. Ben Franklin, and why? <laughs> Feel free to unmute yourself as well and share. Instagram, you can always toss your answers in the chat. Okay. What else we got? An extremely interesting man. <laughs> it was very interesting. Quentin says, Travis Scott, cause, not because, cause he is my favorite rapper. <laughs> All right. I'm looking at Ben Franklin. Jim says, Mark Twain, such a cre clever, creative, and thoughtful person. We are all over the map with who we want to meet. I like it. All right, I want like one or two more answers and then we'll keep rolling. Get our cycles going. All right, I guess we're excused. <laughs> I'm gonna start calling on people. Mm. Kayleen, is there anything Kayleen and Kayleen's sister today? Yes. Yes, Steve yeah, says. Work. Um, uh, I would meet my grandpa. You meet your grandpa? I love it. I love it. Steve is contemplating. I'll let him contemplate. Kayleen, who was on yesterday? Was it you or your sister? Kazaya. Okay. Nice, nice to see. You. I was like, I can't tell who it is, and I felt really <laughs> bad. <laughs> all right. Bands are going. Cycles are going. Let's get all hooked up. Steve, you can shoot us your answer whenever you think of it. All right, so big sip of water if you've not already had one. To start getting into our lower portion of our workout, our lower body, we're gonna start with our calves, smaller muscles before bigger. So go ahead and step the feet really wide. Uh, first, we're gonna take some stretching. Hands on hips, move it around. And we're going to keep the feet wide for our stretching as well as our exercise. Good. Move it around the other way. Good. 
and come back through center. Angle those toes out towards the sides as much as you can. And we're today our calf exercise of choice is going to be sumo heel raises. So go ahead and take a generous bend into the knees. You can control how hard this exercise is based on how low you drop your butt down towards the floor. So our 40 seconds are lifting alternating heels up and off the floor. We're going in four, three, two, and one, up and up. Alternating heels. You can do whatever you want with your hands. You can take arms up to sides. You can take prisoner hands. You can take them to your hips. Whatever feels best. Good, alternating heel lift. And I wanna see those heels really high. And ideally, your body does not move. So only the legs are doing the work. If you want a crazy challenge, get super low. Nice. Good. Last 10. Good. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rise to stand, rock the hips side to side. Second set, you can do the same thing, or you can do both heels at one time if you're feeling spicy, which I would love to see because this is a very safe exercise to do. So I want to see everyone try and challenge themselves. Bend into the knees. Body stays stable, both heels up and down. 40 seconds, we are moving. And are your calves and your legs gonna start to shake? Absolutely. That means we're growing stronger. I love seeing shaky legs. Even if it's just a baby lift, get them up. We are half done. Woo. There we go. 15 seconds. Nice strong leg muscles. Good. Last 10. Sink that butt down even lower. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, come up to stand, rock side to side. Oh man, my bands are getting going. My legs are like, whoa, that's crazy. All right, let's get our heart rate up. First 30 seconds, oblique crunch hop. Two moves, we are rolling in three, two, and one. We go up, up, hop. Up, up, hop, hop. It's a lot easier with my leg bands on. Don't got strings flying everywhere. <laughs> up, up, hop, hop, yes. Last 10. After this, we're doing knee tap, ankle tap in four, three, two, and one. Knee, knee, ankle, ankle, knee. Knee, ankle, ankle. Here we go. Got a dance going today. All right. After this, we're doing overhead jacks. Last 10. We have five, four, three, Two and one, hop wide. Bring your ends up, overhead jacks. Here we go. I love it. Get those legs really loud. Nice straight arms, get them all the way up, opening up the shoulders. Half done. Mm, yes. Okay. Nine, all in, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, sip of water, take a gaze at your screen, next exercise. Low lunge, oh sorry, I got excited. Lateral lunge to reverse lunge. Now we've done this one before. I take my right leg, I lunge out to the side, come back through center, hover, reverse lunge, hover. Lateral lunge, hover, reverse lunge, hover. So it's strength-based, but we're also working the balance using our core to pick our leg up every time we come through center. So we're gonna start with the right leg. So you can take your hands to your hips, you can bring them together, whatever feels right. 
We have 10 more seconds and we're gonna go. So go ahead and set yourself up. Step your feet hip distance. We're going in four, three, two, and one. We go side, hover, reverse, hover. Keep going. And on that reverse lunge, make sure you get your back knee towards the floor, please. Great. Good job, Instagram. Nice. As you sink into that lateral lunge, get your butt even lower. Open up those hips. There we go. Good catch, Kelly. <laughs> nice, Quinn. Travis Scott would be proud. Last 15 seconds. Good. Get that back knee down. Don't skip that part. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right into the last leg. Let's jump into it. Stop. Hover. Back. Hover. Lateral. Up. Reverse. Up. Keep rolling. I like watching the balance, even if it's shaky. We're doing it and it looks good. And making sure our chest stays up. Nice, the fans me. Good balance. Good, last 10 seconds. Then we're gonna take a quick break. Then we're gonna do one more set. Mm hmm We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. No modifications here. If you feel like going faster, you can go faster. Also, instead of going faster, you can play with range of motion. So we can pick that leg up. We can get all the way down, come up through center, hover. Let me twist so you can see. Get the knee all the way back and rise. So see if you can work into it a little bit deeper to build more strength in the body. So let's work into the right leg again. We're going in four, three, two, and one. Lateral lunge, side. Come all the way up, hover. Lunge it back and hover. You can also make it more challenging by taking the hands behind your head. That's it. Good. And everyone I'm seeing has a nice straight spine. We're not slouching and rounding. So we're keeping our chest open and our shoulders back. Good posture the whole time we're doing this. And I know I'm a broken record. I always say it and I always mean it. Awesome. Last 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. See if you can do your deepest variation of the day. Maybe three more for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, three was a little ambitious, but you guys got the idea and you did great. Right into the other side, option to take the hands behind the head. We're working the last leg. We go lateral, hover, reverse, up, side, center, reverse, center. Awesome. 40 seconds of good work. Then we're gonna pump our heart rate up again and then we're gonna come back down onto our hands and knees. <laughs> Last eight. We have six. Give me four, three, two, and one. Everybody up, stand. Let's get our heart rate up. And then we're gonna take a water break and move on to our next exercise. Oblique crunch hop in four, three, two, and one. We go up, up, jump, jump, up, up, hop, hop. Keep it up. Really get those knees up there. Yeah, half done. And the last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Knee tap, ankle tap, knee tap, ankle tap. These ones really get me going. <laughs> Fans are pumping, hearts are pumping, half done. 
Uh, last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Jump wide, overhead jack. Here we go. I love it. A lot of jumping to us. Our heart rate is half up. I want you to go out. Give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Whew. Grab water. Take a beat. Okay. So for our upper body work today, we did some bear. We're going to continue to work into bear with the lower body. So it's a familiar shape. So it's a slightly different intention. So before with the upper body, we were in bear and we were doing an arm march. This time, there are two options. One is harder than the other. You can either hold in bear for 40 seconds, or if you're feeling good here, extend alternating legs back. It's a bear leg march. Now, notice here that my spine is completely flat. I'm not doing this. <laughs> I want you to keep your knees off the floor the whole time, okay? So make your way down into hands and knees. We're gonna pick ourselves up for either bear hold or bear march in four, three, two, and one. So pick yourself up, extending alternating legs back or just holding. And I actually think that holding now that I'm doing it, it's a little bit harder. Extending the leg back is harder on the balance, but the hold is harder on the legs because you don't get a break. So play with it. See which one you like best or which one you don't like best, which is probably the one you should be doing. <laughs> Great. Good job. Bear March. Mm-hmm. Last 10. Drop those knees even lower for four, three, two, and rest. Nice. These are hard. I think these are really hard. Anything where we have to hold the body, it's difficult. We start to shake and burn. All right, next set. We're going in four, three, two, and one. Same thing. Pick it right back up into bear. You can either march or you can hover. Sometimes at least the march gives us something to do. <laughs> Great, 40 seconds. Now thinking as we're doing this, what muscles we can engage to help take some of the weight off the arms and the thighs. So how can we squeeze our core, squeeze our glutes, press the floor away from us with our hands, activating our arms or shoulders to make things a little bit more stable. Mm -hmm. Last 12. Now this is where we get to check in with our breathing. For six, five, slow it down, four, three, two, and rest. Go ahead and drop your knees to the floor. To come out of it, kick the hips up and back. Now, pedal the legs out, bend alternating knees. Now, because we had such a big bend in the knees, we were really contracting to the hamstrings. Let's give them a stretch release. Good, walk your hands back to meet your feet. Roll on up to stand. We have our last heart rate boost of the day. Then we're going to have our one to two more exercises, depending how we're doing on time, and we'll come down for some core. So oblique crunch hop, hands behind the head, 30 seconds. We're going in four, three, two, and one. Now go up, up, hop, hop, up, up, hop, hop. Yes. Awesome. Get those knees all the way up. There you go. Last 10. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Knee tap, ankle tap. Get those ankles up as high as you can, actively opening up the hips. Half done. Woo-wee. And we're going to round it out 
with the best overhead jacks we have done the entire month of June. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Overhead jack, let's go. <laughs> Get those arms up nice and straight, pump them. Up, up, yes, half done. Good. In three, I will all out sprint. Two and one. Give me ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whoo! Water time. Hopefully, if you weren't sweating before, you've broken a sweat now. Next exercise: low lunge switches. I keep my body nice and low. I step my right foot back back, left knee, back, back. So my body stays low, tap, tap, switch legs, tap, tap, getting the back knee as low as you can, okay? So let's make our way to the top of our mat or our workspace. We're alternating legs, two taps per side. We're gonna come down in four, three, two, and one. Right, right. Left, left, get even lower, right, right, left, left, keep it up. Ooh, these are so low, I love it. Get the glutes involved to help you out. Nice. Ooh, go Jim, go. Great, half done. Awesome. Good, last 10. Get that foot down, give me everything you've got. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up to stand. Take your hands across your shoulders. Quick hamstring stretch, give me five. Four, hinging at the hips with a straight back, three. Two, and one. All right. This is gonna be our last standing exercise of the day. Then we're gonna do a little bit of standing balance, very small amount, and then we're gonna come down for some core. So take that big old generous bend in the knees, sink your butt low. Make sure that your heels are not coming off the floor. I want the weight to be in the heel. Shift your butt back. Last 40 seconds, let's go. Back, back, left leg, back, back, right leg, Tap, left leg, back, back, keep it up. Make them count, especially because we have a short workout week this week. <laughs> Great, half done. 13, 12, 11, sink your butt down lower, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and oh my goodness, good job. Come on up, pedal the legs out. Good. Step the feet hips distance apart. For our standing balance, think of this as a precursor to our core work. So we're doing standing core, and then we're doing seated core. The first thing I want you to do is shift all your weight into your left foot. Pick that right foot off the floor, pull it up, hover, up, hover, 30 seconds. And you'll notice that my body is not moving. I'm keeping my core nice and strong. Mount, imagine I'm balancing a book on top of my hand. You can even take your hands up if you want more challenge. Good, last 12 seconds. And we're gonna work into the other leg. Whew, really get it up. Yes, six, five, four, three, two, and switch sides. Shift the weight to your right foot, left leg up and up, 30 seconds. If your thighs are burning like crazy, one, that's normal. They're helping to get the leg up. And two, keep drawing in your core as much as you can. Use it to help contract. Take that leg up, half down. 
And if you want to get crazy, you can do like arms out, arms up, do the wave. <laughs> Good. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last set of work. Shift your weight back into the left foot. Take the right leg out to the side, little lift, up. Up, 30 seconds, we're not gonna hold, we're not gonna do anything crazy. My shoulders stay stacked over top of my hips. I'm not tilting. And for some of us, this might be one of the hardest things we do all day. I want you to keep growing taller from the very top of your head. Last 10. Nice. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Switch the weight into your right foot. Left leg out, 30 seconds. Maybe noticing one way, leg is a lot limber, more limber than the other. I know mine certainly is. <laughs> this one feels like lead right now. Good, keep growing taller. Notice your shoulders. Last 10. Good. Ooh, I'm tipping. We have six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right. Our three core exercises, 30 seconds each. So we have 90 seconds of work, a minute and a half, and then we get to stretch out. First things first, side to side, crunch kicks. So I start with my hands rooted into the floor. I rotate both legs over to the left, out, in, right, out, in, side to side. After that, we're doing an oblique twist. I root my heels into the floor. I work side to side. And after that, we're doing sit up with alternating heel touch. So I roll down and up, tap my heel, down and up, tap my other heel, okay? So first 30 seconds, root the hands into the floor, pull the knees in, side to side crunch. We are going. Nice, keep it up. Good. And as you come back through center, really pull the knees into the chest. Use your core muscles to draw your legs in. I know. Last 10. Legs are burning, core is burning. We have six, five, four, three, two. Root the heels into the mat, oblique twist, side to side, rotate over. Up, over, up. Come as far back as you can and back up through center. Oh, hey, Chris. <laughs> awesome. Last 10. Then we do the sit up, alternating heel touch in eight. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Root the feet into the mat. We come all the way down. Roll all the way up, try and tap your right heel. Left side, all the way down, all the way up, left heel. Last 30 seconds of work of the day. Nice, half done. Ooh, get all the way up the back. Tap that heel, go ahead, last 10. Let me see two more, we have eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Fold the feet, come together, butterfly stretch. Give the knees a flutter. Good. Release the legs out into a wide-legged stretch. Give the knees a pedal, bending alternating one, shaking them out. Good, reach both arms up. Take them both over to the right. Frame the leg, drop your hands down. I want you to drop your forehead, better yet, your belly button towards the right thigh. Shake your head, no, uh-uh, no more jumping. Good, three more big breaths. And start to roll up to sit. Reach your arms up, rotate over to the left. Side twist. Shake your head, yes, heck yeah, we did a good job. Three more breaths here. Letting the shoulders, the spine, the jaw, the brain, everything relax. Mm 
and then start to roll back up to sit. Reach your arms up, take your hands behind your head, hinge into it as straight a spine as you can take, take, make, have, do, be, any of those work. And four, elbows wide. Three, if you need to take a little bend in your knees because you have tight legs, that's fine. Two, hinge and hold it. Reach your arms back behind you. We have six, five, keep dropping into it. Four, three, two, and one. Come back up through center, reach your arms up, bring the palms together, give yourself a round of applause. Good job. Awesome work, everybody. Thank, Thank you all for Thank coming you. out. I love the answers of people who you would meet if you did. Great job, Gator. Go, Gator. Mm -hmm.